hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another playlist which uh, is on swelt kit i already covered another playlist which is on swelt js and then i started uh, talking about swelt kit which is a ssr framework on swelt js in 2022 i created a couple of videos and then i didn't create much content but now it's 2023 i wanted to finish this playlist with big bang a type of project so let's get started i mean we already have a couple of videos already available which you can go through but now i want to give you a quick restart because the swell kit has gone through a couple of changes it's not like uh, there is a big bang changes but it's good that we start from the scratch like how to create a very basic application what is swell kit and all i'm not going to go into the introduction because we have already done that like what is swell kit what is swell js there is a big playlist already there coming to our topic right what is swell kit swell kit is a framework which is used for rapidly development water blah 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 it is built on top of swell js it is ssr same as the next js same as the next js every framework has its own advantage disadvantage and own way of doing things but it's all divided into two segments client side rendering and server side rendering we have a different framework for client side rendering like react next uh, sorry react and uh, react swell js and there is one more uh, angular and couple of more frameworks are available in the server side rendering all those framework has their own version of uh, set of frameworks like react provided uh, next uh, swell js provide a swell kit similarly uh, next which is provided by vue.js sorry i forgot the name vue.js is provided is providing uh, next for the server side rendering okay i'm not going through the tutorial because you are good at reading the documentations and you can easily go through that what i will do is what are the things we need to talk about in the swell kit we will talk about the routing in the swell kit which is available in almost all server side framework like how to create the routes because it's not a single page application every routes will be responded by server so we'll talk about routing how we load the data which acts as like a client side rendered data or client side loaded data or server side loaded data because if the data is rendered from the server then it become it, it is a server side function form actions page actions how to deploy this to the different platform lambda edge function or uh, or netlify versal heroku uh, cloud player and i mean there are a lot of other options it's like you just need to write a custom adapter or use the adapters provided by the swell kit to deploy your swell kit app okay so creating a basic project is fine when you create a basic project it uses the latest changes for, for the swell kit so what we are going to do is this is the github repository first of all this is same as the larna uh, i mean you don't need to worry about the the setup it's like inside apps you will see all the different apps we are going to put inside it different examples different samples and different demo applications to talk about all the different features of swell kit okay and this is where we just talk about a little bit on the documentations and i'm going to add all these to this swell kit uh, playlist okay I i'm really excited to talk about swell kit because i was trying to do this since a long time and now this is the time where i will start doing it and i can also build i'm using swell kit in uber eats clone app this is like a full step full stack clone uh, i'm building and one part of the front end i'm going to write in the swell kit I will be using the routing layouts uh, loading the data form actions and page options all these concepts in that application so it's all about learn by doing things okay so if you talk about simple project structure this is how it goes uh, we can also take a look on to the simple cli application i mean this is a sample hello world app you can see so you can see when you uh, create a simple application so cd apps and this is starter cli i think i already have node modules so i will just go to the package.json i mean you just execute a command and you will see this whole setup already available to you it is using with uh, a de development platform to compile to build to run this on the server okay 
earlier they used to be roll up but now it's migrated this is the svelte kit latest version we are using and it is using svelte and obviously we are using it with the typescript and i think this is not using tailwind we can introduce it and other other dependencies are all about prettier eslint eslint typescript parsers cookies and adapter I mean, we'll talk about it, but it's an adapter auto because we haven't defined the platform. We wanted to deploy it to the Netlify, Vercel, Heroku, or Lambda Edge. So it's just using the auto adapter, which is a default Node.js, I think. And it is using SwellKit as a plugin. And this width, you can see these two configs. So adapter is the default adapter, which is coming with a CLI. And this is the width config which is initializing the swell kit app and uh, what else we have let's go to the source now this is important uh, here we do have the routes so inside source we will see the routes and these routes will be rendered as uh, independent routes let's say because my application how it looks like on the platform myapp.com but what i want is this to render the login right this should render the reset password. So these all are actually server side routes. We are talking about server side rendering. It's not a single page application where forward slash will render the single page application and then we just do the client side routing to change the pages on the body. No, it's whenever you hit the request or when you reload the page, the whole template gets rendered from the server every time you reload the page. Okay, so let's say the blog. So for this, what will happen is if you are if your route is blog, we will put routes blog here, and inside that blog we will put put page dot svelte and page dot ts or page dot js based on if you are using TypeScript or not. And the layout, if you want to define the layout for that. Okay, let's see what is in the what will happen when I just hit root. So we are talking about this particular route. Let me write it so it makes it more clear. What will happen when I hit forward slash? From this example, if you see the source directory, what do you have here? Here you have a layout, and every files are prefixed with this layout plus. So here you have a layout, layout dot svelte. Okay, then you have plus page dot svelte and plus page dot ts. I mean every file, uh, whatever, whatever you see like the plus layout, plus page dot server, plus page dot svelte, plus page dot ts, they are designed for particular purpose. Layout, okay, obviously from the name it's used for defining the layout for your root page, root page layout because it's inside src directory. Page dot svelte, this is the, the content or this is the, the template your root page is going to render and this is some logic or some data which we can feed i mean we can define the client side load function inside this which will feed the data to the page root swell that's it now your what you will do is you will create a folder let's say i create a folder blog and inside the blog again i will do is i can just define my layout layout dot i can define my plus page dot and if I want to load some data, which is client side data, then I can just do page.ts with load function. And if you have like some dynamic parameters, then I think you can use slug or anything, the ID slug or whatever, and you start defining the same files here. So let's say you wanted to go to a particular blog, you will you will go to this particular route. Okay, these are like very basic stuff for any SSR framework, and they behave like in the same way whatever you see let's run this npm run dev looks like i need to do npm install uh, i need to change the version let's see what version i'm using and switch your version to 16.18.0 and i need to check do i have okay things are running first i will do npm run build so it is executing with build and you can see all the pages let's see what all routes has been configured i 
yes you can see here the about page is there then this is another route and these are the chunks has been compiled and you can see the speed of compilation if you compare the next JS or any other thing which is really very powerful now i will do just npm run dev and it will give me my application running on this route okay it's like a starter app uh, i will not talk much about it it's like when you do a cu cli it will give you something like this so it's like uh, different routes home about these are three different ssr routes okay this is the home layout so what we did is inside home folder we have created plus page dot swelt same inside about folder we have created plus about dot swelt same for this one right like uh, if you see the code about we have page dot swelt and page dot ts if you wanted to just put some content inside this inside this this is like a different different routes how to play and then you have page dot swelt page server dot ts it's like okay it should have because this is a page server load this is a server side data which is being provided to the component and you can define the actions and all and here this is the counter dot swelt so this counter component is only on the home page so there is no folder for it right so inside page dot swelt we are importing counter and counter is getting rendered here and doing it whatever is defined inside a counter it's like a simple incremental counter and obviously you need some knowledge of how swelt js works that's it i mean you just put a script tag you put your templates and rest all is the, the the functions how you define functions how you define variables how you pass the data from parent to the child component how you watch a watch watch for a particular value how we define the stores and uh, state management in the swelt js because swelt kit is just a framework which is using swelt js for writing the components and app.html here we are injecting the content inside this div so this is a simple application and this is a simple cli right so you will see what kind of files you see plus page dot swelt plus page dot uh, ts plus page dot server dot ts right and these are just like uh, components not the route which are getting rendered on the home page and this is about you see this is the, the component about component and this is the page dot ts which is which will feed the data to this component okay and the layouts do we have layouts here yes this is the root layout i mean how the the root page looks like and every page will follow this whatever is coming inside the the root layout you can reset the layout for a particular page but when you hit forward slash it will already have a header this is this is like the this dot props dot children plot slot star means this is where your child components will be projected and this is the footer and some stylings we have added so the header will be always there for the root layouts and here we have some another layout for this component and this component i mean you can you can just altogether change the layout here also we have a header but i, I think i changed some styling and layouts some styling for the flex and all for this component you can see this is home this is root this is using the root layout and here i have switched the layout so the the home page and i think a lot of things have been changed the body part and all this is just a counter okay so this is just a basic cli app you will get with your swelt kit now what we will do is we will start talking more about uh, how to define the routes how to define the page actions the load function the client side data fetching the server side data fetching in the components from the next video onwards